Hello there, my music guides, to another behind the scenes episode where we break down what is likely the most unique aspect of the show and the most fun, the transmedia. If you're not familiar with the term, transmedia basically just refers to all the extra content and ways you can let audiences engage with your show outside of just watching one thing. In my music's case, the transmedia would be my music news, the mosh, presents, all the social media accounts, performing at VidCon, etc., etc., etc. We created my music specifically with all of you guys in mind to create a universe for a show that fans can really be a part of and not be like any show you can get on TV. The amount of work that went into this is ridiculous, and a lot of people thought that we were crazy to do it, but we couldn't be prouder of it and hope that you all had fun being able to experience what we created all year long outside of the main sitcom. Check out this featurette on what it took to make it happen with our small team that made it seamless and one of a kind. Here is my music behind the scenes, Transmedia. Something that I love more than anything else in all the content that I've ever created in my whole life is involving the audience. And I think at our core, when you are a filmmaker, you're making this stuff because you want to entertain others. And the internet has allowed that to be much more direct than anything else. I'm Dave. And I'm Steve. And we are the, We're the writers, writers of my, my music. music. There's so much more to the My Music Experience than just, like when you go to the YouTube page, that's what it's called, the My Music Experience, not the My Music Show, because there's so much more than just passively watching these seven to eight minute episodes and then going away and biting your nails in anticipation for the next episode. The transmedia elements of the show really though have very specific direction that it's taking. You know, the weekly content all ties into the main show week to week and being very specific with planning months in advance when we would film a certain scene of knowing, okay, well, when this airs, this person is now hosting the music news show. Like, Raina's taken over for scene and she's gonna be there on that Wednesday. Future The Voice Show, Shakira, it We're in the middle of filming! So every week we have something called the universe meeting, which is where the writers, Benny and myself, get together and figure out what's happening across all these characters, across all their social networking profiles that week. And we have to make sure that it stays in line with the narrative from the last week's episode and setting up the right narratives for the future episodes. And it's just a lot of work trying to figure out, hey, how do all these characters talk to each other and what do they do that particular week? This is the week of November 5th that we will be recording right after the election in the 5.3 episode of the web series. Okay, so character specific story things for social media. I agree with you on the, this breakdown of Team Idol and Idol to not give too much away. I almost view it as an, a whole other piece of content. Like, you have my music, you have all the supplemental shows, and then you have the transmedia that's just showing itself, where it actually is crafted fully to enhance everything else, but even by itself, it's full on entertainment. We did this in a variety of ways with my music. Sometimes it directly related to the episode, like when Idol was live tweeting her office dates and you could follow along with her on her Twitter. Hashtag, OMG, I think I found the one. Also, why am I reading my tweets out loud in front of my date? I am so weird. Would you close that laptop and kiss me? Hashtag, I have to close my laptop right now so I might not finish this tweet before it closes. Also, why am I still talking out loud? Sometimes you'd reveal plot points on social media before they ever happen in the show. Like when Scene was having her personality crisis, we posted a picture on her Facebook revealing it before it ever happened in the main show. And then the fans, of course, completely went crazy wondering what was going on. And then that week in the sitcom, you'd see that same picture be found by one of the other characters who would then freak out about it. Ew! They look like a bunch of Teletubbies on bath salts. We also would create things that most people would probably never even find. Like when Indy left the company for a while to go to the International Fix Gear Expo and Vegan Chili Cook-Off Spectacular! Woo! If you dug deep enough, you actually could find a whole website for that fake convention where there was an itinerary and you could be following along with what Indy was doing while he was gone. I mean, literally, we are telling a story across every conceivable digital media platform that exists. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, Google Voice, Spotify, Yelp, Tumblr, LinkedIn, uh, even actual mail, which apparently still exists. Mm -hmm. The storylines that you get in these people's real lives that have nothing to do with the show is going on at all times, as well as hinting at things and letting you get more information about the show. My favorite example is always episode 18, where there's a cake and Metal pulls out a sword and tries to cut it. And if you were following him on Twitter, you found out all about how he got the sword. He's been cutting things all week. His dream in life is to cut a cake. And then you see that for two seconds in the actual episode. And those types of things 
were to create its own world in itself. And we expanded that world by including all of the minor characters of the show that also played a role in the transmedia during the year. The scope of the amount of random characters that entered the social media world was definitely a lot bigger than I anticipated. I think Penny's two favorite things to say at universe meetings are one, they need a Twitter. And two, I changed my mind, they need a Twitter. Creating accounts for sub-characters or very minute characters is something that some may view as being too much or oversaturating, and I don't agree with that at all when you do it in the right way, because it's not something anyone needs to be following, but it should be there. I want this to be real and real time, and anyone that you meet would have a Twitter. Like, they would have a Facebook. This is, this is 2012 when this was made. They would have these things, so hence it should be there because this is supposed to be real. Plus, it's super fun. So with this being a real-time sitcom, we had to make sure that everything we produced reflected that. Like the music news show that had real music news from the week that episode aired. Or the vice presidential debates are happening and Metal is a pretty political guy. So you can follow his Twitter and see him live tweeting the debate as it happens in real time. Or involving the audience directly, like say it's October, which means it's Halloween both in real life and the show. So the characters are actively encouraging fans to send in pictures of themselves dressed up as the staff for Halloween. And then they actually do, so we put it in an episode of The Mosh. And when we would script elements where a character would say they're posting something on Facebook... Idiot thinks Pile of Scarves is a man. Posting on the company Facebook page. Yeah. Not only did we do it, but the character who posted it is there replying to comments about it. The amount of stuff that I wanted to do is impossible for me to do by myself as much as I might want to try to do it by myself. There's too many other things I have to do because I could get lost just doing this for the rest of my life. I always imagined that he would go like full catfish and like lose himself in all these characters and in this universe. The finds, they're... They always have these crazy grand visions. They have a million things going on in their heads and they want to do it all. And they were telling me all these things that they wanted to do with the show and I'm like, these guys are crazy. It's amazing and very thankful that I have writers that understood what I was going for and embraced it too. There's not much of a better feeling than when it's your vision and then people treat it like it's theirs. And that's definitely what the writing staff this whole year has done with all of our shows, but very much in, in, in the social media. It would not exist without them. I always say that creators should be giving Disneyland to their fans. When you're a fan of something, you love it and you want more. If anything, it'll be the shows that don't do this that will be confusing. Be like, oh, it's just this? Why am I gonna devote time to this when all these other shows give me Disneyland? Thus concludes the universe meeting. As we end every meeting, let's all take off our pants and run in a circle. Oh, camera's off.